what's going on back at it with another video today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your door speakers on an 05 Subaru Legacy say we're going to be testing out the 3299 dual uh, I believe they're 200 watt uh, door speakers we're going to see if they're really worth spending $32 or not so uh, let's get right into it tools you're going to need you're going to need a flathead screwdriver you're going to need a Phillips and possibly a knife, depending on how many zip ties your previous owner puts on there. Uh, you can use a pry tool, I'm not going to, because I just don't need to. Okay, so first thing, mine's already missing. You're gonna have a cover on here, there's three clips. You can just pop that right off. Once you pop that off, you got two Phillips head screws. One on the top. Make sure you put your screws in a good spot so that way you don't lose them. And you got one on the bottom here. Just lay them in there like that. Now, you need one more screw. You're gonna pull your door hinge. There's a little tab up here. Pop it out like that. Do you want me to move it closer? No. I start from the bottom and work my way up. Sometimes. Um. Oh, that's nice. Tweeter. Junk. Whoever did uh, was in here before me definitely did not do a good job. Oh, before I get too far, you want to pop this off right here. It's just give it a little wiggle and pop. All right. So now you yeah, disconnect your electrical connector for your window switch. There and there. Light for the door. And then you can leave your cables just tucked aside like that. They might pop out if they do, then you just gotta put them back in obviously. Alright, so this is what you're looking at. It's a six and a half inch speaker. What the heck did they do here? Look at all this. This is supposed to be for the tweeter right here. Oh dear. I hate when people touch stuff before me. You got one, two, three, you got four Phillips screw heads holding it on. Once I get more money, I'll have to try a back one, but let's see how these work. speaker out and some more awesome connections uh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right YouTube so the person that put this piece on before me didn't put it on fully right and it came off so what I'm gonna do is I got buck connector and I got a new wire. So pretty much all I'm gonna do is insert the wire. Like that. Yeah. 
dirt the stuff. Don't clamp it too hard. Uh, it won't work. Make sure you have a nice, nice enough wire to go in. Here's the other thing, speaker. See how good this is. I'm going to be taking the front cover off of mine because uh, it's not going to fit my door panel. It's supposed to be six and a half, but it's definitely a little bit bigger than six and a half. So that's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's not going nowhere. It doesn't work. We'll have to find out. Put it back together as a reverse process. You're gonna plug in. Uh, where is this? Oh, that's for the door light. <laughs> These speakers will be coming back out as soon as I get as soon as I get paid them. I get some better speakers because yeah, they do. I mean, they they actually sound pretty good for 30, 34 uh, and some change, but they definitely. Uh, what I can say is, if you have six and a half, go five and a half. Just trust me on that. I was going into it, I measured my speaker, even the back of my old speaker even said six and a half inches. That one fit perfect, this one, no. So I'm just going to save the bolts, I'm going to go out, when I get paid, get some better speakers. I'm not cheaping out speakers. I did this just to, you know, pretty much show you guys if it's worth it or not, and I mean, I would just, I wouldn't cheap out on speakers. Bye, 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 Bye. 
And if your cables come disconnected, make sure you test your lock in an opening because I've seen people actually put them on backwards and literally they'd go to lock the door and it opened the door. So definitely make sure you check. Oh my god, everyone get this all stuck in my head. I don't know if they'll be able to hear you. And that's how you replace door speakers in a 2005 Subaru Legacy. Thank now, you. before I cut the video, I want to show you guys how I did my boost gauge. So, I'm going to show you how I did my boost gauge. What I did is I pulled the center this whole center piece up. I drilled a hole in the back, ran all my lines through. I'll show you under the hood then, but what my, uh, you got a power, you got 12 volt ignition source, you got your white wire, which goes to a dimmer switch or your light switch, whatever, and then you got your ground. I did all that through the clock. Literally, you can, I got all three hooked up into here all I did was splice them in really easy so that's that let me show you underneath the hood how I did my baseline excuse my crappy filming why are you playing on the steps Riley I gotta clean this car out I got a bunch of speaker stuff in here Riley hold on So I pulled this grommet out, which I still gotta put a hole through there. I just temporarily did that. Ran it through there. Don't run your boost gauge off of your wastegate because, well, you can, but I wouldn't because you're not gonna be able to see how much vacuum you're pulling. On the throttle body, there's a vacuum tube right here. And I just teed that like that so thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and have a good day